Hello all, today we're going to get some guides and templates for writing outlines. I'll have three types, two for visual learners and one for linear thinkers. First, let's go over how to create an outline. My favorite way is to use the infograph provided in the Ames OWL page on persuasive essays, so I'll go there first. I like to think of the paper as a pyramid. We have the thesis at the top, which is supported by the topic sentences or reasons underneath. The reasons are then supported by the evidence beneath that. As you can see, evidence comes in many forms. If one of the blocks in our pyramid is missing, the whole paper pyramid could come tumbling down, and we don't want that. In the example, you can see where each block of the paper pyramid shows up. The thesis appears at the end of the intro paragraph and your topic sentences or reasons for believing your thesis show up in the first sentence of each body paragraph. Finally, your evidence is contained within each body paragraph. For example, let's start with the top block. We have an example argument here. Pharmacists should be able to dispense antibiotics without prescriptions. Usually, we would have a map sentence here telling us the rest of the reasons, but it wouldn't fit. So let's go to the next level of blocks to see my reasons. So the second level of blocks. Reasons should support your thesis. I know I'll have to back them up with evidence, so sometimes I'll be changing my reasons as I do more research. On the bottom layer of blocks, we have evidence supporting each reason. For example, in the topic sentence, allowing pharmacists to dispense antibiotics with lower costs and increase access for patients, we have the evidence of 74% of patients weren't using contraceptive the month before they got care from a pharmacist. I want you to also notice that I've introduced and discussed this quote. That's something you'll want to do with every piece of evidence that you offer. Finally, we have counter-arguments. These are important because they allow your reader to see that you've thought about all sides of the issue and allows you to address concerns your readers might have. For example, opponents might say this could lead to overuse of antibiotics, which could create superbugs immune to them. My response is, again, using evidence. The Antimicrobial Resist Infect Control Journal studied developing countries and found that appropriately trained pharmacists integrated into the healthcare system can make significant impact on minimizing inappropriate antibiotic use. That means that pharmacists can actually help with this particular issue. Okay, the second way to think about this is as a sort of brainstorming cloud. We have examples of this under the Ames Owl outlining page where we can see that a student has gone to a brainstorming service called bubble.us and has digitally created a mind map of their topics. They still have the same elements, a thesis, topic sentences, and evidence, but it's organized differently. Finally, we have a traditional outline. It looks something like this with Roman numerals. I have a template for you in this week's content folder if that's the way you'd like to work with your paper. However you do it, upload a picture or text of your outline to the discussion board this week.